Hey guys, it's Tuesday and it means it's our recipe time. And you know why you should be trying a few healthier recipes every single week? Because nobody's perfect and whatever perfect diet or meal plan you have and doesn't matter how much willpower you have, you're still gonna have those moments when you want something extra, something special, something more fun. So you need to have a few really simple comfort quote-unquote recipes that you can make really easy or maybe prepare them in advance so you have that something special, something extra that can satisfy your cravings for uh, some traditional pizza or pasta or cookies or whatever because even a small thing, small healthier thing can satisfy all your cravings and save you from full-blown binge on things that are created to actually hack your brain and bypass your satiety impulses and make you eat more and more and more. So today is pizza day, cauliflower pizza of course. Okay, so the crust is gonna be really simple. We're gonna grate our cauliflower. Um, we're gonna into our food processor where I have this thing that my sister has to make some purees for the kids. Anyway, <laughs> cauliflower, a couple of eggs, depends on the size of your cauliflower. We're gonna use, um, this is Parmesan cheese, um, Russian kind of fake Parmesan cheese, <laughs> but to use whatever hard cheese you have available. This is sea salt and some herbs, some Provence herbs like basil, oregano, etc. to make it Italian. And this is what's gonna be our toppings today, what I found in my fridge. So this uh, simple tomato pie paste I'm gonna use instead of um, fancy tomato sauce. These are some capers and these are butter mushrooms and this is tuna. And we're gonna put some cheese on top also as topping. So now we're gonna grate our cauliflower. guys, while our cauliflower is microwaving and then cooling down, we're gonna prepare our cheese that I will attempt to grate in the same machine that I grated my cauliflower. And also I'm gonna prepare my toppings, so my mushrooms, um, my tuna, my capers. I will take them all out, wash them, cut them for my toppings and just prepare so it's really easy and really fast to arrange my pizza. It's our cauliflower. So, because I'm in Siberia and it's freakish cold, on the balcony we're gonna put it to cool down outside on the balcony to cool it down before mixing with our cheese and other ingredients. So hey guys, now we're mixing our cheese, our cauliflower, our salt, our herbs, our eggs and we're also preheating our oven to 220 degrees centigrade. Ready to be baked, guys! See what I got. Try <laughs> different shapes. It's kind of fun. And while that is being baked, we're gonna prepare our toppings, our tuna, our butter mushrooms, our capers, and the rest of our cheese. Guys, do not attempt to use paper for pizzas. Otherwise, most of your pizza is gonna be stuck on paper. So these are my rescued pieces that I'm gonna put toppings on. But yeah, it was better, I guess, to use the sheet and just put some oil or butter on it. So, but I rescued some of them and I'm gonna put on toppings and gonna bake them and make them taste. Hey guys, despite all the misfortunes, <laughs> we made it. You ready for a try? I sure am, so. Mini pizzas! <laughs> it was actually pretty amazing. So, it was all worth it. 
<laughs> Try it. But take my advice. Use just the uh, pink sheet. Put some butter or oil on top of it and bake it that way. So nothing's gonna stick anywhere and you're not gonna lose half of my cauliflower pizzas. <laughs>